Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 3 where we are still learning our way around this game very much so uh, This is interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. Oh, yeah It has a pause indicator here here and here. I like it. Okay, so that's absolutely great We're currently working on building some barracks up over this way, right? So that's something that we're definitely doing now one thing I was noticing here like I, I was thinking about it after I finished the recording of the last episode and I was thinking, these troops just spawn out of the barracks, don't they? I think they do. The number of battalions the country's currently constructed barracks are able to support. So yeah, they just spawn out of the barracks. That's different. Definitely not what I would have expected from a Paradox game, but we'll see. We'll see. So we need to go through these unread messages here. We have a diplomatic pact at risk of breaking. This is our customs union with... Who is this? They're around here somewhere. So they're currently thinking about breaking their customs union. Uh, this is our diplomacy? This is our diplomacy. Okay. So why are they thinking about this? We'll break if relations between Prussia and Leap are less than cordial. Okay. So... Aha! F does work. So let's see what we've got going on here. They are up over here. We're looking at these guys. Right. So what are they upset about? Where's their proper diplomacy here? This is all the information here. I'm looking for their diplomacy, though. Open diplomacy. So, right-click and open diplomacy, apparently. So, they're currently cautious towards us, but relations are currently cordial. Cool. So, we could begin improving relations with them. We may as well. So, is this something that is... We don't have, like, diplomats or anything like that to worry about. This is just fairly similar to the way that it works in Imperator. Okay. So that should be taken care of. We can support more declared interests. So we have interests in Germany, Poland, Rhine, South Germany, the Baltic, and France. We can declare more interests if we wanted. We could declare an interest in Danubia. And I don't hate that, actually. We can have a total of five, so we can get more than that. Cool. We would also be interested in the Baltic. But I think we already are? Yeah, we have a declared interest there. So these are like innate interests, and then these are declared interests. Got it. So we could go for like something over this way. This is starting to get pretty far flung. But I mean, we may as well, right? And then in like Italy? Sure. Why not? Yeah, we already have an interest there and we can't declare that. And then when we when we opened up Italy there, this then went unavailable because we can't get any more declared interests. Okay. Cool. So there's our interest declared. Now we have expensive government goods. Currently, paper is expensive in the Prussian market. Iron and tools are all expensive in the Prussian market. So we can increase production of it. That's definitely something that we could work on. Paper, iron, and tools. What are the other options it says here in the tooltip? Change the production methods or set up trade routes. You can also embargo or add consumption taxes to it. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So we want to go into our production lens here. And it was specifically paper, iron, and tools. Do we have raw resources for that? Yes, we have iron mines in Silesia and Posen right now. So we could queue up some upgrades for that. This is expanding them. 
Or actually, that's building a new one here, I think, and then this is expanding the existing iron mine in Silesia. So those are going to be queued here. And that'll be a while before that's done. So that should help our iron. We'll see how much. And then there's tools and paper. So paper mills, what do we need for that? Wood and sulfur. Well, we're not seeing any issues with that right now. So over in East Prussia, let's build a paper mill. And then tools. So we could build a tooling workshop. That uses wood and steel. Well, we're not having an issue with steel right now. Do we have any steel right now? Currently in Westphalia, yes. Okay. So we'll put in a tooling workshop, say, in Brandenburg. Okay. So that will eventually get dealt with. We've got five flotillas in reserve. Promote existing admirals in order to give them higher command limit, which can be done on the details panel for that admiral or by right-clicking the admiral. You can also assign flotillas by, by recruiting more admirals, which can be done in the navy tab in the military panel or through the military lens. However, promoting an admiral is usually recommended over recruiting more. Okay, so this is recruiting the admiral, and then we need to go into the military lens here, which is this one. Go into the navy tab. Okay, so we need to recruit admirals. Because we don't have any that we can promote. So I guess we would recruit those into the North Germany HQ. And what does this end up costing? Command 5 out of 20, 5 out of 20. Yeah, that's fine. He can be wrathful. Okay. And a dockyard organizer, so less supply consumption. Cool. So if we recruit this guy, does that cost us anything? Yes, that costed us bureaucracy. Okay, good to know. Fantastic. So we have insufficient taxation capacity in Silesia. We can improve that by building government administration buildings in the state. So that would be presumably under political? Yes. So government administration in Silesia. Okay, we'll see what, what that goes with for a size of one. So that's being worked on eventually. And market access in Westphalia is at 97%. So we can increase this infrastructure, which can be done by building ports or railways, by decrees like road maintenance, or ensuring there are enough to connect Westphalia to its market capital overseas. So one thing I'm definitely thinking is, can we actually change around this construction queue? Yes, we can. One thing I'm definitely thinking is we probably want our construction sectors to be bigger. I think that's going to be a big deal early on, is my guess. Keep in mind, I'm going to be making mistakes in this first run. There's no doubt about that. There will be mistakes and there will, there will probably be a lot of them, in all honesty. So I'm thinking construction sectors at least up to like level five here, like this. And then we prioritize that up at the top. Uh, alt click to move to top, okay. So we do something kind of like this, right? So this way we can build things more quickly. So we're prioritizing building, building things. We're, we're, we're prioritizing building more building capacity. If I, I guess. We could say that. So for now, that might be a good way forward. So let's go ahead and leave our current lens. I'm definitely still concerned about Austria. I want to... It, it's weird to me that, that there's no access to their diplomacy from here. You have to go into here. That's a little strange to me, but I'll get used to it, I'm sure. So... They're currently not very good with us, or not very happy with us, right? Not very happy at all. Start a Conquer West Galicia diplomatic play. So diplomatic plays are something we're going to have to learn how to understand, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. For the moment, Austria is more powerful than us. Do we... Actually... Wait, what? Diplomacy's right here. Am I dumb? I might have been dumb. <laughs> So they're rival to us. I'm just checking to see here if there's anything that we can, like any friends that we can make. Actually, Russia. 
We might be able to make friends with Russia here. They're not accepting alliance right now. They don't like our power projection, which is a lot lower than theirs, to be sure. But there's that 100 base reluctance. Okay, let's begin improving relations with Russia as well. And I'm sure doing that does cost something. But we'll see. Let's go ahead and tick forward here for a bit. And this is all looking good. Okay, so we have good progress going over here. A Dutch-French rivalry has been declared. So the Netherlands ha have declared France to be their rival. Good luck with that, ne Netherlands. I'm, uh, I'm sure you'll definitely not have any problems with that. So we're going to work on all of this eventually. And that'll be just fine. So we're ticking on forward here. And we need to remember that this game only lasts like 100 years. Uh, what is this? Austria started an import route for coal from the Prussian market to the Austrian market. It's currently predicted to grow to level 4. Great Britain has responded angrily to the Qing ban on opium with multiple threats towards the government of Great Qing. Okay, well, good luck with that. We don't have any interest over there currently. What we do have interest in is boosting up our construction sector. So there's a Sicilian-British rivalry declared. Cool. And the East India Company is now interested in the Baltic. That's quite a ways. Okay. <laughs> well, let's take a look at our, our market monthly price report. I like that this pops up. That's great. So the price of clippers dropped, the price of irons skyrocketed, and the price of hardwood went up as well. But that is quite an increase for iron. There's also five more significant changes. Wood increased, grain increased, fish increased. Okay. So if we look at this, none of these are still classified as expensive. So I don't think that we need to deal with that at this moment. Okay, so we are finishing up some of these. We're now at 31 construction. We're still using 30 construction a week. But per we're producing 31.49. That's interesting. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Britain is now interested in South Germany, and Portugal is now interested in France. Cool. Po Span Spain is now interested in Poland as well. The AI is really spamming those interests, but okay, sure. I'm not sure how much we care about any of those right now. Cool. Okay, so we can now see that we're using 31 out of 33 construction. Interesting. I expected that to remain maxed out for some reason. Okay. Just checking in on that. Seems okay. So they're importing sulfur from the Prussian market. And lead is being imported as well. France and Britain are now rivals. Brazil and Dutch are now rivals. And the Ottomans and British are now rivals are now rivals. Okay. Sounds good to me. So we've got our constructions going to be finishing up fairly soon. This is increasing our production speed, although not as much as I was thinking it was going to. Our construction must have a pretty high base level. Five from base level, 17.97 from construction center in Rhineland, 15 from in Brandenburg. So level one construction centers must produce 15. And then upgrading that doesn't seem to be super efficient. Per level 5%, or five, five 
construction, rather. So if we were to build this here... Yeah, it doesn't say how much that would actually produce. Fascinating. Definitely fascinating. We'll get that figured out, I'm sure. I'm a little concerned about our bureaucracy. We are going to be getting more from our government administration that we queued up. So that's fine. And all of these are going to be finishing up soon enough. We're going to be done with those construction sectors quite soon. So that's good. The way that this construction works reminds me a lot of Hearts of Iron. This system, like, the, the general engine system, like this pause menu, and this down here reminds me a lot of the, like, upgraded version of the Klauswitz engine that CK3 is running on. It's got a lot of those same features. But the way that a lot of these systems work here is reminding me a lot of Hearts of Iron and Imperator. Which is definitely interesting. We'll have to see what the combat looks like, but that'll be a bit before we're wanting to do that. I don't want to go after Austria at this moment, for sure. Because if we look at Austria's power projection, where was that? Oh, this is just the state in Austria. I want the full... Oh, I see. That's why I missed the diplomacy. This is selecting the state. This is selecting the nation. Got it. Okay. So I want to take a look at their power projection here. They've not increased their number of battalions. So that's good. That is absolutely great. Okay. The price of steel has gone up. The price of hardwood has gone up. The price of iron has gone up. Luxury clothes have, have gone up and tools have gone up. Noted. We're going to be working on iron here very shortly. Although that's going to take some time. Cool. And we're also working on our paper mills. So we have that construction increase done. Oh, wow. Look at that. That went up to 63. So that seems like it doesn't go up linearly then. In which case... Wait, what? Ah. This dropped down here because I brought it up to its maximum size. Right. I held shift just by default. It's five in this game. Okay. Good to know. So I do think that we should work on maxing out those construction areas that already exist. So let's go ahead and move all of these up to the top. I'm not going to build other construction sectors. I just want to max out these construction sectors. So we'll get those going, and they will build much more quickly now. But yeah, 63 is very nice. We can rank that up quite effectively in that case. This definitely feels like the right way to go getting that construction going. Now, we can see here we are negative in our cash. This isn't hugely shocking because of all of this construction that we're doing right now, and also because of our... E each of these we have to pay to operate, right? So that's not hugely surprising. The question is, how will our reserves do? Will we make it through this? We'll see. Yeah, all of these prices are going to be massively increasing with all of the construction that we're doing. So that makes sense to me. Sweden is importing steel. Okay. Bullock, the barracks is fully employed in West Prussia. That's an interesting message there. I'm assuming 51 and 51. Okay. So if we go into here, 152 plus 51. That has come, come up slightly, hasn't it? I think it was... 150 plus 25 previously or something like that something along those lines and i'm guessing that's why this isn't going up as quickly as i expected it to either we need pops to be employed here in each of these so this will continue going up as we continue to expand this 
So this sounds good to me. Assuming we don't run out of cash, which is a possibility. And we'll see what happens. It'll be good to know. So we can see here that our temporary expenses are definitely going to be the majority of our of what we're paying actually. Our construction goods are very very expensive. Cool. So we're not shocked about these prices. We're going to be wrapping up our construction sector constructions momentarily. That'll be great. And we still have low market access in Westphalia. Now, I don't think we actually did anything about that. So if we go into infrastructure, which is where? Because let's see here. In Westphalia. I, I don't actually know where Westphalia is. Here. It is here. So that's in our exclave. So how can we get through here is the question. Well, first things first, let's hop into the trade lens here. Okay. We can definitely just build railways in Westphalia. It's weird that it's alt-click to put it at the top of the queue. But okay. So looking at that then over here, I want to look at our actual construction queue. That did not put it at the top of the queue. Which is quasi okay, but we'll just move it to the top here, along with these construction sectors and these construction sectors, and we'll do it kind of like this. Okay, now our funds are definitely grim right now. There's no doubt about that, and that's due to our resources that we're spending. But we're not going to spend any additional resources over what we have here. So we're getting started on these railways. Those take quite a long time to build. Okay. 22 weeks on those. So here's my question. Do we have... Or where can I actually see input goods shortages on steel mills? So we're lacking steel down over, or rather, probably iron out over here. For the moment, though, we know that we're going to be working on iron mines. And I'm not sure that we need to have this many levels of rail. So I'm going to cancel the expansion on four of these. Okay. Because we only need 3% market access, right? So let's build one level of railroad. And we're definitely shrinking our money here. But we can see our balance is starting to rebound a little bit. But this is almost entirely due to construction goods. Cool. So this iron mine will be done in 11 weeks. That will help things a lot. And we can see that prices are just skyrocketing. That's not shocking. We are uh, using a lot of resources at this moment. That's for sure. So we're going to run out of gold reserves quite soon. And we'll see what ends up happening here. Yeah, this is leveling off here a bit. But we'll see what ends up happening there. Construction sector is fully employed in Brandenburg. That's great. And we can see here we're only using 116.31 construction each week. So I think it's clear that we've overbuilt our construction a little bit. Like I said, mistakes were going to be made. But we've overbuilt our construction slightly here. That said, we are making good progress here, and I don't want to be spending additional... Okay, we can go 5.8 million into debt. Sounds good. I don't want to be spending huge amounts of resources on this construction right now. So we're building tooling workshops. We are expanding our railway, building our paper mills. What happened to the uh, expansion of barracks? This is level 10, level 11, level 15, level 1, level 25, 25. Okay. We can get those upgraded later. But for now, I want to get our economy a little stronger. 
That is, of course, going to be quite living. Quite living. <laughs> I was reading this here. Standard of living increased in Pomerania, so that's fine. Cool. So looking at this here, we're now half a million in debt. But we should be spending less on our construction goods fairly soon. Okay, there's another week finishing. Four weeks until completion on this iron mine. Five weeks on this one. Cool. So we're going to chill here a bit on our construction. There's no doubt about that one. Three weeks more there. And these prices are just going up. We're not shocked about that. Not in the slightest. But let's get this iron mine completed. Two more weeks on that one. And three more weeks on this one. Those two iron mines together should help once they get populated. And of course we can see that we have an unhealthy economy right now. Our construction goods are currently costing us pretty much all of our expenditures, but not all. We may want to consider bumping up our taxes slightly. We'll do it for right now. We're going to want to drop that taxation soon. But Silesia is a bit of a problem. Okay. And we've got expensive military goods, too. We'll deal with those. But we're about to finish up this iron mine. That will save us a lot of money on construction goods. And that iron mine will start to produce iron eventually. Yeah, we can see our balance is really starting to come back up. So that's good. That is very, very good there. We're going to finish up these constructions here. Paper, iron, tools, wood. Yeah, we should probably work on wood eventually. I'm not going to queue up any additional buildings right now. We've kind of broken our economy a little bit. And we need to wait for this. There's a bureaucratic shortfall, apparently. Well... Institution growth is halting, apparently. Uh, we are building this government administration in Silesia, though, and that's going to be done very soon, so that should help. So that should be good. Cool. So there's that built, and that should start employing people here in theory. So if we look at the buildings here... The arms industries here are dropping their cash reserves, but for the moment, that's okay. The iron mines are increasing their reserves, as are the lead mines. But what I wanted to check on here is the government administration here. Okay, it's currently hiring. It has 0% of its employees. Fair enough. Well, it is about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will see about crawling out of this debt we found ourselves in. I'm not shocked about it, but uh, we have to feel this out, so that'll be fine. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazaral, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button underneath the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.